Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today, I'm talking a little bit about combat drones, infiltration drones to actually be specific. Now, we've looked at different sorts of drone designs before, and how they can break into the hull of a ship, but they've got quite large drawbacks. Now, if you have a look at the drilling drone, now, this makes a lot of dints, and it makes a lot of noise when it's trying to get into a ship, but it doesn't really make too much progress, and it's not very stealthy if you're trying to make a very light entrance. And now we move on to the grinding drone, and the grinding drone is specifically made to destroy blocks, but obviously you've got that loud sound of the grinders working away, and you've got all them clicks and beeps as the blocks return to different stages. And if you plan on using the welder drone to actually break into the ship's hull, you're probably just going to repair up the wall and help that guy out, rather than get in at all. And that's why we had a little bit of a breakthrough this morning with a little subscriber message. Let's have a talk about that. Now we've looked at all the other sort of utility ships, let's have a look at this thing. Now you may notice this looks a little bit different than the usual sort of drones, and that's because it doesn't actually have a utility attachment. Now, the grinders and the drills, they do damage the armor, they do penetrate through, and the grinder especially does get through the layers, but it's very slow. And in an infiltration sort of situation where you want to break in through the ship's hull, you need something that's fast, you need some sort of plasma torch, some sort of cutter that can cut through the side of the ship extremely fast. And that's why we're using these large thrusters to act as a cutter. Now, as you can see here, we've got thrusters on the back because every force needs to be equalized so the ship doesn't just go shooting off in that direction. So when these deploy, these will deploy as well and we'll have that equal force and we'll just be able to turn it in a nice circle and cut out the hull of the ship. We'll have to give it a go though. Now, we've got some simple little buttons. We're going to access this with our remote control. So we'll go to K, we select the small ship and we access the remote control block. Control like so. So now, as the ship comes into shot, I'm just going to quickly show you its features. So we've got the standard sort of design, we've got the two thrusters forwards and back, and when I activate number three, you'll notice that it doesn't actually move anywhere, and I can still move backwards, up and down, left and right, without affecting the ship, and we're just going to actually go for a basic cut into this ship now. So all I'm going to do is apply a little bit of pressure in a square sort of format, and you'll see the armor starts to melt away as we put a little bit of um, pressure on it. Now, as you can see, it's actually forming into a point, and that's what we don't want. We want to form it into a smaller square, so we can actually break into the armor. That's what I've noticed tends to work better. So if we stretch along into here, and we just work along this line just a little bit, and then we come back along this line, working across into that area, we'll actually form a place where we can actually crack in. And you can see we've also cut in, and we've all automatically now got an area that we could probably fit the ship in with just a little bit more work. Let's bring it up a little bit and let's just cut this part off and then we'll be able to bring our little drone in. But you can see how much faster it actually is than using a standard sort of grinding drone to break into another ship and how much quieter that is. You can pretty much hear nothing except the engines humming away. And on a large ship, you're going to have loads of different little noises going on, reactors, processors and all sorts of things. So you can actually break into your little friend's ship or station or whatever really simply now. So there we go. We're going to force our way in and we've broken in. Now let's actually have a go of this on some larger ships as well as trying to cut some patterns into the armor. Ideally what I'd like to try to do is cut out like a circle and it pops out in the middle like you'd see in a movie. So the next thing I wanted to test was attempting to actually cut into an actual ship. So we've got the red ship here in front of us and I'm just going to attempt to try to cut in and go in and enter through the hull. So we're actually approaching the hull and you can see we're melting away. We're just going to make that small initial melting area that we're going to use to break in. And we're just going to push that then back with the thrusters and just start to work it into a hole. Now, at this point, the grinders probably would have got one or two blocks away, but you would have made all that sound and you would have probably broken a few other people. There we go. We've got our first hole in and we can probably wiggle it and get in there if we wish. So we'll try to melt it and make it a little bit bigger. And then we can actually infiltrate in here. I tried to make a smaller variant of this with um, only one of the thrusters, but it just didn't seem to work as fast and as efficient as two. So that proved to be a little bit of a problem. So let's just cut out that little bit of a hole. And once that's done, we should be able to get in ourselves inside. So there we go. The hole's been made a little bit larger for us. And we can just wiggle ourselves in. And move a little bit down, move a little bit up. And there we go. And now inside the ship completely silently just something that i thought was pretty damn cool and interesting to mess around with we'll turn our thrusters on we'll have a look around we can also a little bit of machine gun action 
move inside the ship perhaps and take some people out right what's our camera button number four so we now we're inside the ship now we've actually melted ourselves in we can actually move around in here maybe kill some people we could even go for the bridge perhaps with our melters on so there's another door in the way the bridge is somewhere up here so now this is actually broken in through the ship's hull whichever way it may have come in you should see this thing wreak havoc on smaller little fighters and ships anything that's docked in there and faces these sort of large melters is instantly going to be destroyed so i'll just show you that now we'll access our remote control and we'll get our remote and control that up we'll bring that into position here and then imagine you're aboard the ship you spot a few of their fighters and before you launch that big attack you want to get rid of some of their fighters to actually lower the numbers so you're going to active up, activate up your melter and just cripple that ship so actually let's get to a little bit of a better perspective with our camera we'll actually view the onboard camera if i've set this up correctly and arm cam there we go and you can actually melt away the most important parts so poor little henry here is getting his engine bays melted getting them crippled and this ship just wouldn't be able to launch an effective attack and now especially imagine breaking access to some sort of carrier vessel that has hundreds of these little ships aboard and you go aboard and just melt away their entire assault force they come out into their hangar and they find something like that just to melt it away and they're absolutely puzzled what's happened to their ships just be so cool to actually have a mess around with now we could even modify this ship and add another sort of attachment and in this case i've added something i like to call the breaching charge there is some areas where these melters cannot actually melt through say for instance this armored area here it really struggles to get through glass and it struggles to melt through the ramp so the only way we're going to actually be able to get through here is some sort of breaching charge luckily i brought one with me so let's actually have a go with this so i'm going to aim it over here so i can actually see what's going on I can hit the control panel and find my small little ship and we're going to remote control it. So remote control is now activated and we're going to move this ship past the camera and into position. Now this is a very dangerous sort of process and in the final sort of model I'm going to make of this I'm going to make them explosive so they've got some sort of protective charge around with them so nothing will really go wrong. Well you can only hope with this sort of thing and we're just going to drive this along ever so slightly into that breaching sort of position and move that here like so and then we're going to use our upper thrusters to place that into the breaching position and we're going to press 5 to prime the bombs and press 4 to release them so the breaching charge is now in place and I just want to get away from this thing as fast as possible really that may be a little bit harder than I imagined so I'm out of there breaching charge is armed and Aaron is going upside down and crazy. He's trying to escape like a madman, but he's inverted his controls because he's nutter. And there we go. Breaching charge has gone off. Now, controlling the ship from this angle and not being actually on the camera is extremely hard. But anyway, let's have a go inside and actually have a look. So we can now access our arm cam. And we can actually review the damage that we've done to this ship. And we can actually breach into different areas with our thrusters now. So let's actually have a look into this engine bay. We can actually melt that away. So to conclude, the Melter Drone is rather effective, but it does have a number of problems. It's rather good at breaking through light, flat armor, but it does struggle when the armor starts to get angled and there is interior blocks in the way. It does damage heavy armor, but it does tend to take its time, and interior blocks it extremely struggles to actually get through. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.